thoughts on a rather sad note. The league management company, LMC, has confirmed the death of Nassau United defender Chineme Martins, who slumped during today's NPFL clash against Casino United in Lafayette. The player was attended to by medics of the two clubs when he slumped and was later rushed to the Dalhatu Arab Specialist Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Chairman of LMC, Shehu Diko, said the league regrets the passing of the young footballer in his prime and that the LMC expects an autopsy to be carried out to establish the cause of his death. And to the English Premier League, Manchester United punished two goalkeeping errors from Edison to inflict a 2-0 defeat on Manchester City. The 182nd Manchester Derby was a personal nightmare for City goalkeeper Edison, who gifted Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side both goals. First, he allowed Marshall's uh, Martin's routine shot to scrim under his body from a quick Bruno Fernandes free kick. And then with seconds remaining, he threw a clearance straight to Scott McTominay, who showed great technique to send a long-range finish into the unguarded city nets that sparked scenes of jubilation from the home crowd. Elsewhere, Carlo Ancelotti endured a miserable return to Stamford Bridge as Chelsea thrashed his Everton side by four goals, goals to nil. Mason Mount, Pedro, Willian and Oliver Giroud got the goals to boost Chelsea's top four Premier League hopes. Israel Adesanya wants to face Paulo Costa in his next title defense after retaining his, w his UFC middleweight world championship in Las Vegas. Adesanya successfully defended his title against Yor Romero via unanimous decision in the main event of the UFC 248 and immediately called out the unbeaten Brazilian. Costa was supposed to meet Adesanya in this morning's headliner, but a bicep injury prevented him from taking the date. Adesanya has won all eight of his UFC fight and the 30-year-old is confident of extending his winning streak whenever he faces Costa. Also, the world celebrates International Women's Day and Nigeria Olympic medalist Falila Tugunkoya is advocating for more support for the female athletes preparing for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Falila made the call at an event organized by Ladies in Sports to mark the day honoring past and present Nigerian athletes. The International Women's Day is not just in recognition of the achievements made by women, but also brings awareness to the obstacles they face in actualizing their dreams. I get worried when they want to do art for sport. They will go and bring a movie star, you know, and they give them Nigerian jersey. And that jersey, Nigerian uniform, you work hard to earn it. I just want to let you know that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Fola Shade Olua Femiayo is a world record holder in 86 kilogram category of para powerlifting. Adekuroi Oduayo is ranked number one in the world in the 51 kilogram category. These athletes already booked a spot for the Tokyo 2020 Games, while Joy Udo Gabriel a bronze medalist at the last Commonwealth Games is hoping to qualify for Tokyo. What they all have in common is resilience. And that's the message they're sending to every girl child aspiring to become an athlete. They should pursue what they love to do. Um, when I start wrestling as well, my parents don't even support me at all. But thank God for my coach, he was able to convince them. And today, they are proud of me. I like to say to them to keep pushing, always have positive vibes around them, never give up on your dreams, that's very important. Don't let anybody talk you into doing whatever you don't want to do. Just keep being you and I hope I inspire you people. The International Women's Day is marked annually on March 8th.
on the international scene. Here's an update on the cases of coronavirus in the United States. Health authorities and the Center for Disease Control says there are now more than 500 cases of the novel coronavirus in the U.S. There are reports of 442 cases in 33 states and the District of Columbia bringing the total number of coronavirus cases to 512. According to the CDC, there are 49 cases from repatriated citizens from Wuhan, that is three, and the Diamond Princess, 46, 21 are from the Grand Princess cruise ship. Meanwhile, the Grand Princess cruise ship carrying about 3,500 people is currently preparing to dock in Oakland, California. Former U.S. President Joe Biden has one more former presidential candidate in his corner as he prepares for the next batch of primaries this week. California Senator Kamala Harris today said she was endorsing Joe Biden, describing the 77-year-old as one who has served the country with dignity and that the party needed him more. Ms. Harris is seen as a rising star within the party, but dropped out of the presidential race in December. Mr. Biden has thanked Ms. Harris for her support, saying you've spent your whole career fighting for folks who have been written off and left behind. Somali militant group Al-Shabaab senior commander Bashir Gorgab has been killed in an airstrike in the country. The strikes are attributed to the U.S. forces who carry out frequent airstrikes in Somalia to target militants, but there has been no confirmation who carried out the airstrikes. Gorgab was killed on February the 22nd in the southern Somali town of Sako, following a joint operation by the Somali army and U.S. military, according to Somali state radio. Last month, there were unconfirmed reports in Somali media outlets that he had broken away from Al-Shabaab following disagreements with other leaders. And the main news again. The death toll from coronavirus in Italy today rose from 133 to 366 in just one day as Lagos State Governor Babajide Somolu briefed President Mohamed Buhari on how the state is curtailing the import of the virus. Plus, the U.S. today recorded over 500 cases of the novel coronavirus as another cruise ship, Grand Princess, carrying 3,500 people, is currently preparing to dock in Oakland, California. On board are 21 people who have tested positive for coronavirus, 19 crew members and two passengers. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Melissa Antoine Have a great week ahead.